Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Legends of an Otherworld, Curse of Surya. In the first episode, we woke up in a mysterious cave, found an exit that teleported us to a village inn, discovered that the path back to our homeland was through a treacherous mountain path, allegedly guarded by robots, although we haven't met any, and we gained a new party member, Harley, a white mage, which will be a good balance to our first two party members who are both physical attackers. And Tara has reached 150 AP, so she should now be able to learn a new skill. Silence is the same thing Liana has. Sleep and Venom don't sound very useful. Uh, stand ground counterattacks when attacked. Now that does sound useful, so I'm going with that one. Um, we picked up a few things from the boss that we just fought. A strength plus, which I'll give to Tara. And an evasion boost, which is going to Harley. He gets all the um, defensive things I have so that he can stay alive as, as long as possible and heal everyone else. Um, one thing I didn't mention in the... Um, <laughs> almost managed to get through that cave. Um, one thing I didn't mention in the first episode is that I'm trying to... Um, Harley has the scan ability, so I'm going to use that on this turn because no one needs healing. It didn't do me, do me any good in that fight, but it means if I fight any more of the same type of enemy, I'll be able to view their max HP from the outset. Uh, so one thing I didn't mention in the last episode, and I won't talk about it now because we're about to say hello to this character. There's a deadly swamp ahead. The plants there can poison you. Here, this will help to protect you. Uh, so that's going to Harley for the same reason. And this is Potion Plus. Yeah, what? <laughs> Swamp Soul. That's an undead monster. If I cast Cure on it, it'll hurt it. To target monsters with healing spells, press up while choosing a target. Okay. Ouch! Poison can be nasty. I can take care of that for the sooner though. Well, not much point in taking it off if he keeps putting it back on. It would be better just to go with a cure. So one thing I didn't mention in the previous episode is that I am... Um, all the time I move around maps like this, holding shift to move faster. Um, no, I don't want to silence attack. Um, in my own game, I've set that to the default so that you move at that speed even when you're not holding shift because that's so much more comfortable. Um, not, nothing much to do with him, so I'll just defend. And that looks like the exit, but have I seen all of this area?
Well, I have now, and I can move across the purple stuff. I don't know anything about this plant, so let's scan it. Well, now we know it has drain. I don't know if there's anything I can do that specifically defends against that. And it looks like I'm going to have to fight past more of them to get anywhere. Three of them! Um, let's use stand ground. I don't think drain counts as magic, so I won't bother using silence. Counter-attack is really useful, so I'm not going to use Dark Attack. I'm going to save her MP for, uh, for the Counter-Attack ability in future battles. This is quite a tough fight. But those two have taken quite a bit of damage already. And we get three potions, one from each plant. off three of them, two is no trouble. And um, oh there's the healing crystal. Well that means I can just go wild. Um I think the I can't remember whether they have magic. Doesn't matter now. I really should have saved that to a second save slot just in case something goes wrong with this recording. Um, can you do anything useful? Not really. Well now you can. Fortunately one of the things is if you skip your turn you get it back faster than if you used an action.
Oops, I meant to have Harley kill himself. That was a finger slip. Sorry for not having very much to say, but these battles are a little bit monotonous when I'm only fighting one type of enemy. Uh, I'm getting a good supply of potions from it, but they're not very useful because the normal potions only heal 75 HP each. Spirit plus. Um, spirit. Uh, because it's in the slot under magic, I assume that's magic defense. I'm not sure who would benefit the most from that. Oops. Uh, I'm going to give it to Tara because her spirit is the lowest. And now let's take on the boss. Or not? if I use his MP, the save crystal is right next to me. Of course, one of the disadvantages of having uh, random encounters combined with save crystals that heal is the player could do unlimited grinding if they wanted. Um, I'm not going to because do I even need to talk about that? Um, let's silence the Meganon, who's probably the biggest threat here. Uh, stand ground. So you can still do that even when silenced. Now I I think I should be taking out the little ones, so I've only got one enemy fighting me per turn. Uh, it doesn't help that they've both got darkness. This is not going well. I at least get that one down. Finally. Okay, we've only got the big one now, but everyone's HP is low. Oh, 
Okay, I think I may have lost this round. Dying and reviving means I don't have the darkness status anymore. But that drain attack is nasty. Okay, I think I've got this now. Healing yourself. Only I'm allowed to heal myself. That's fair, isn't it? Ah, oh, there we go. That was a tough battle. Definitely save after that one. have been appearing near Nyata lately. Ah, here we are in town. Well, we've reached Nyata in one piece. No thanks to you, Liana. Oh, come on, what's wrong with a bit of fun along the way? Whatever. My idea of fun isn't almost getting eaten by poison plants. So, Harley, guess you're going now. Yeah. I have stuff to do around town. Might see you again sometime. Oh, please, don't take it that way. Such a kid. Hey, just because you're old. I'm only two years older than you, Liana. Wow. I better leave you two to it. Bye! We're really losing our white mage so soon? Yes, we are. Oh well, Liana, I guess you're used to me scaring your boys away. Whatever. Come on, let's find the way back to Surya. Whatever you say. So, we're in a new town. Let's explore. Um, no, I'm not going to pay money for a heal when there's a crystal right there. Okay, so that's a limit to how much grinding you can do. Useful information. Uh, no, no, I do not want any more of those. What's with those weird floating things just outside town? 
Uh, I don't know, you must be an outside town in the other direction. Yet is a really friendly place. Hey, stop, stop, let me talk to you. <laughs> Is this the... Yeah, yeah, that's the end. Um, what's up here? Oh, you're the cloaked guy he was talking about. Ha! I do not have that much money. And even if I did, I would not spend it without... Not even knowing what you are giving me. Phoenix Tears. The, this is the only item I've really been using, and I would definitely like to make sure I have um, five on me at all times. No, I don't want any of those enough to pay for them. Um, grenades. Those are just so expensive for a one-use thing. I really would not bother. I am most sorry, but the underground cart railway is not open at the moment. Oh, what's happened? There have been reports of a transient on the tracks. Transient? Yes. Spiritual beings of great power. They're very hateful towards humans. Let's kick it. Shut up. I'm sorry about her. She's too easily excited. It's understandable, but I doubt you'd be able to help. Transients are very powerful. I'm not even sure if our black mage could do it. Not that it really matters anyway, she's been out in the woods with her friend for quite a while. What about Harley? Liana, your boyfriend's a white mage. White magic won't hurt anything, except the undead. Shut up! I guess all we can do is wait until Amanda comes back. Wait, I have an idea. Don't say it, Liana. No can do, Tara. It's okay. We'll find her for you. Wow, thank you. It'll be more fun than sitting around doing nothing. Come on, let's go. I really hate you sometimes, Liana. Whatever. You love me. Whatever. I guess Liana had a point. We weren't going anywhere until Amanda came back. Still, it was kind of annoying. One of our dear townspeople says she discovered the strangest ruins in the woods. Um, what woods would those be? Are they further to the north? Watch out! Those weird things start to appear again beyond here. What weird things? Okay. Okay, so this is the way to the woods. Why do you want to go to the woods? Well, a certain someone insisted we track down the town's black mage. Oh, Amanda is missing. Apparently so. I see. I'd better come with you, it's quite dangerous. I see. Well, Liana will be happy. 
You two really can't resist having a go at each other, huh? Okay, we've got him back. I thought I was brave for coming this far, but Amanda went all the way in. Oh, healing crystal. Very nice. Roaches. And they're all ganging up on Tara. Well, it's a good thing she has the stand ground ability. They'll all be dead next turn. Hey. Um, hi. My name's Amanda. I came here to investigate the strange ruins with my friend Myanna. But she's lost in the ruins, so yeah, I was hoping to get some help from town. Myanna's lost? Pretty much. Well, Tara and Liana here came to look for you. I'm sure they won't mind helping find Myanna too. Not like it's ever my choice. I see. Well, shall we go? Amanda joined the party. So that's the Black Mage. Let's have a look at her skills. Fire, Ice, Thunder and Water, the uh, standard elements. And Liana has, um, needs just one more AP for 150, so next battle. Um, defense plus 5%. I'll give that to Farley. And Spra is uh, Spirit, and that's Magic Defense. Um, you can have that because you have all these empty slots. It looks like this forest is a pretty big maze, so I'm going to stick to left-hand rule, so I explore all of it. And, oh, we finally have a robot, although not in the mountains. Since it's a robot, maybe it's weak to thunder. And it looks like the way the roaches work is they always pick on one party member per battle, which is a bit weird. Um, I bet you're Physical attack is nothing as well, so have to use magic. And let's see what Liana can learn. Pretty much the same list as Tara, so I'm going to make the same choice. That will be very good if the roaches pick on her.
spirit of the woods. Untold pain, get out. Not sure what that was about. All right. These things are elemental. Cast the opposite element to hurt them. Fire and ice are opposites, as are lightning and water. Yep, standard RPG element system. Although, for my game, I'm actually going with um, three cycles instead of opposite pairs, which I think is more interesting. I, I just hope it doesn't confuse people who are used to a system like this. Although, personally, um, it makes sense that fire and ice are opposites, but um, it is confusing that fire isn't weak to water. Hourglass, what's that? Heals slow. You do have to take a turn to... Oh, mimics are a thing in this game. Let's use... Whoops. Let's use Silence and Darkness straight off. And... Um, you look flammable. Oh yes, weak to fire and ice, and nearly dead. Right. Gold Acara, that's an equipment upgrade for um, one of my physical attackers. You have strength 17, you have 21, so you've already got the boost from your 5%, so I'm giving that to Tara. No, I've already been that way. Left hand rule, remember. We found out these are weak to fire, so... Resist. Let's give that to Liana. Great. Roaches. Well, Liana did get stand ground.
Now, what's this gravestone? Nothing? Okay. Like you use fire magic, so I'll silence you. And cast ice. Yeah, that works. Well, that is certainly going to Amanda. You're new. Tree bill. <laughs> nice. Um, you're a tree, so are you weak to fire? Yep, weak to fire. Wow, that thing's strong. Leanna doesn't gain any experience because she was knocked out, I suppose, not dead, because she does come back with 1 HP. Um, can I use the um, cure spell outside battle? Yes. Good. Agility plus. Well, I know who gets that. And now I'm beginning to wonder if Namida designed this maze deliberately so that left hand rule would take me everywhere except where I want to go. Let's nab this. An elixir. And a healing crystal. That means we must be near the end. It is too late now. Oh my. The spirit of the forest. 
looks undead. Pure and fire should hurt it pretty nicely. Um, I'll also try silencing it. And try dark magic attack. Um, let's see if it is weak to fire. Well, fire damages it. And let's try scan. Have I looked yet? Uh, yes, it is weak to fire. And I have items that heal slow, but I'm not sure there's very much point. Ah, it has drain, of course it has drain. Thankfully, it does waste a lot of turns casting slow. Uh, no, I need to use one of these on Harley. Slowly I'm wearing down its HP faster than it can recover. It's down to 500. But it keeps doing that! You... That was my last one of those. How's its health now? Right, now I can take it. Ah, oh, finally!
And that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'm going to save in a new slot so that I have an end of episode save in case anything goes wrong with the recording. See you next time.